Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video on PSRE Math 2021 Paper 2, Question 15. This is the exam smart strategy that you should be familiar with if you have been following my video. Today, I'm going to share with you on the suggested solution in solving this question 15. A very famous question that was uh, being highlighted after last year's PSRE. Alright, so the question is about the number of coins and the mass of the coins. So I'm going to move on to solving question 15 for this video. Now, Helen and Ivan have the same number of total number of coins and we know that Helen has 50 cent coins and 64 20 cent coins. We are not sure how many 50 cent coins, so I'm going to re represent this using a system here. So for Helen, I'm going to use her initial H to represent her name. All right, so Helen for herself. She has an unknown number of 50 cent coins and we know that she has 64 20 cent coins. Okay, all right. And then for Ivan, Ivan has Same, the same number of unknown number of 50 cent coins but he has a hundred and four 20 cent coins okay so we only know this information for Helen and this information for Ivan and this two we are totally unsure okay now we also have another information here Helen's uh, coins The total mass is 1.134 kg. All right, so we know this. Now we are not sure about Ivan's uh, total coin mass. We are supposed to find it in part B. All right, so this is something that we have to bear in mind. Okay, now to do this question, I am going to do part A first in the next slide. Now for part A, I'm going to present this part A in the form of a model. Okay, so it, it looks like this. They have the same number of coins, so I'm going to uh, draw two identical bars. Now, so this model shows the coins. Alright, okay, so Helen has 64 20 cent coins, so this is 20 cents and there are 64 of them now as for Ivan his 20 cent coins is here right he has 104 okay so this would be Helen's 50 cent coins and this would be Ivan's 50 cent coins. Okay, so the difference in coins is here from this part that I'm going to shade in green. So this part, I'm going to bring it down this part here. Okay, all right. So this is 104 minus 64. That gives us 40. That means Helen has, Helen, she has 40 more 50 cent coins than Ivan. Okay, so the value, the value of each coin, each type of coin, that means one 
50 cent coins and one 20 cent coins the difference in value is 30 cents of course okay so from here i can know part a who has more money in coins and how much more so the one that has more money in coins is definitely helen because he has she has 50 cent more 50 cent coins so she should have more uh, money than ivan so for he helen right she has this is understood here so let's find out how much more money she has than ivan okay so since she has 40 40 more coins and the difference in value is 30 cents so she has actually 12 dollars more than ivan so part a is completed All right part a is actually quite easy now to do part b i am also going to use the same idea now i'm going to draw another model okay so i'm going to draw a model uh, allow me to divide this part into two okay so i'm going to use a model this time the model is on the mass of the coins so the title is mass again helen and ivan but now i have to draw different model now because helen has more 50 cent coins so should Helen's uh, bag of coins should be heavier than Ivan's bag of coins because Ivan has more 20 cent coins so should be lighter, lesser in mass okay alright, now looking at the question Helen uh, total mass of coins is 1.134 kg so I'm going to plug in this information into the model so from here to here is 1.134 kg so we are supposed to find out what is Ivan's okay so the question mark indicated so all right now to do this question we need to know what is this and that will help us to find Ivan's and that is part B concern okay now the difference in mass Right between the Helen's and Ivan's uh, coins, all right, would be definitely due to the four extra forty cent uh, extra forty coins. So the extra forty coins that Helen has should contribute to the difference in the total mass of the coins. Okay, so the extra forty. 50 cent coins that Helen, Helen has definitely is this question mark here. So this part here, okay, is actually 40 times the difference of 2.7. Okay, now why is that so? Because if you look at the part A, right, this part here, I'm going to indic indicate with the asterisk. For part A, we have we found the difference in each value. So we should adopt the same concept to solve part B. Since part A is about the difference in value, each value, so part B we will talk about the difference in each mass. Right? So the difference in each mass is 2.7 grams. So since Helen has a difference of 40 coins. So the total difference will be 40 times 2.7 grams. So 40 times 2.7 grams, we have 108 grams. Now, 108 grams is similar to 0 0.108 kg. 0 0.108 kg. So this question mark, is actually zero this question mark is actually 
zero point one zero eight kg. Okay, let me write now nicely. This is zero point one zero eight kg. Right. So the zero point one zero eight kg is the difference in mass of the coins between the two people. Right. So for part B, we have already solved Ivan's uh, total mass of coins. It is simply taking 1.134 minus 0.108. Okay, so let me write down 1.134 subtract 0.108. That will give us 1.026. Okay, so this 1.026 kg is already the answer for part B. And this question is actually solved. So it's not so difficult after all. Okay, that is the end of my today's video on question 14, Math PSRE 2021 Paper 2. Do feel free to go back to my the front of this video to look at these questions involving the coins of uh, Ivan and Helen. Part A talking about the value of the coins and part B talking about the mass of the coins. All right. In my next video, I'll be talking about question 16 and another video on question 17. Till then, do take care. Do continue to support my channel. If you like today's sharing on Ivan's and Helen's uh, question, tick this like button. Share with friends who are who have who are preparing for PSRE, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Take care and goodbye.